Good Tuesday morning, everybody, live and direct from House Onik in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We again have another calm start to the morning for the most part. Not too much to worry about in the way of showers or thunderstorms or anything like that immediately, but we may see more possibilities of that as we get into the course of the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, definitely want to think about uh, keeping the umbrella with you just to be on the safe side because, again, we'll be seeing again more of those chances of rainfall out across much of the Mid-South into the rest of the next couple of days, uh, at least until about midweek or so, and then things really start to change for the better for us as we go throughout the early part of the weekend itself. Veterans Day coming up. It looks like conditions out across the Mid-South will be pretty nice out there, not doing too bad where it comes to, again, temperatures over the next few days. It's going to be feeling a lot more like fall. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Plus, we'll take a look out into the tropics and see if there's anything going on out there that we really need to be worried about for right now. We do have one tropical storm out that direction. We'll talk more about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. So stay tuned for more on that. A little bit on the foggy and cloudy side out across uh, much of the area so far. Give me just two shakes here, and let's go ahead and get our Facebook viewers uh, in here for this morning so everybody can see what's going on uh, into the Mid-South area. Again, it is just past about just about 20 till the top of the hour, 738 as we go live on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook for this morning. If you've never tuned in here before, this is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you'd like to check out the forecast, you don't have to stick around for me to blather on about it. You can read it right here, information about what's going on there. Social media, I'm trying to get to various corners of the internet available again here, up there. More of our weather forecast from the News Channel 3 Weather Center at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to know more about what's going on there and of course more information as well back over across portions of the area uh, into around the mid-south we'll keep you updated on that let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on into the mid-south area we've got again some quiet conditions out there for now germantown city hall camera covered over by drizzle and a little bit of fog off in the distance it's again not socked in totally but there are a lot of areas that are getting a lot worse than this where it comes to fog out across the mid-south so please keep that in mind if you you are going to be traveling out that direction. Rainfall chances, uh, not much of anything at this point in time. We're just not seeing much going on in the way of rainfall. We do have a few scattered showers back over toward northwestern Alabama. But that's about all that we have right now back toward Florence and just leaving Tishomingo County in Mississippi. But beyond that, nothing immediate dropping into the area for right now. We will be seeing, again, more chances of showers into the Mid-South across much of the area. So we'll see, again, the potential for more of that coming our way a little bit later on. D. Leach, uh, good morning to you on Facebook. Kevin Dunn, yes, I do sleep, but I also am married to a 7th grade science teacher, and her school starts very early in the morning. Morning, which means that I get up and get the coffee made. Very important thing for this time in the morning. So we do have some early morning hours in and around here. And the coffee does help, by the way. So just, just so you know about that. Foggy this morning in and around the quad around the University of Mississippi. We've got, again, some fairly foggy conditions in and around the area from the J.D. Williams Library on the Ole Miss campus for this morning. Some beautiful fall colors through the mist at this point in time. And thanking uh, University of Mississippi. Got some really great cameras across the campus. So great opportunity to see more about what's going on uh, in and around Ole Miss at this point in time, so not too many people up and about from what it looks like. Uh, union Construction Cam looking toward the uh, construction going on at the Student Union, kind of shrouded in fog for this morning. Looks like they're making some pretty good progress there, and a few people up and about and or heading to class for this morning at this point. Uh, D. Leach, yes, uh, teaches... 7th grade science uh, at uh, Bartlett City Schools, and uh, she does teach biology from time to time. Her least favorite subject is rocks and minerals. Not the most exciting thing to teach, unfortunately, but it is pretty cool in some ways. So anyway, something to think about there. Across the area for this morning, again, we've got the jet stream rolling on through, and that's helping to push a lot of very calm conditions, but also a decent amount of moisture from off the Gulf of Mexico over the last few days. Looking back toward the north and to the west of us, we've got a pretty big storm system sitting over the Gulf of Alaska, and that could be making some changes for us coming up in the next couple of days. View from Old this from our weather bug camera again a little bit on the foggy and misty side out there and if you'd like to see more of our weather bug cameras all you have to do is go to wreg.com slash webcams for more information about 
what's visible out there for today. Windy Country Club, we'll just take a quick look in there. Uh, not too many golfers or groundskeepers out and about for this morning, but uh, a little bit of foggy and misty sides there in southeast Memphis at this time. Up on top, we've got a lot of cloud cover going on across much of the area, pretty well socked in by clouds, a little bit of some sunshine getting through south of Clarksdale, around Cleveland, Mississippi, and west of I-55, but not much in the way of very good conditions conditions out there throughout the rest of the day. We do have a dense fog advisory in effect and visibilities as of about the quarter hour down around three quarters of a mile in and around Somerville at the Fayette County Airport, one and a half miles at Covington Municipal Airport, one mile at Union City at Everett Stewart Regional Airport, and about a mile and a quarter at Oxford at the University of Oxford uh, Airport there. Three and a half miles reported at West Memphis. Two miles reported at Millington Municipal and a mile and a quarter up around Kennett, Missouri. This is courtesy of the Enhanced Data Display from the National Weather Service. Great place to go to uh, when you want to get more information about what's going on out there. And if any point and click will bring up a forecast uh, for that particular point, give you an idea as to what's going on. It's preview.weather.gov slash edd if you'd like to catch up on that for there. Take a look around the area for this morning. Again, a dense fog advisory remains in effect for the metro area and throughout the area of West Tennessee back into eastern Arkansas and northern parts of Mississippi. That's in effect until 9 o'clock this morning for that fog that you saw out there for this morning. Rest of the day, again, what's left of our latest storm system moving away from us. This was actually expected to kind of wobble back and forth across the area. It's not doing that. It's actually a little bit farther down to the Gulf of Mexico. There will be some residual areas of showers and thunderstorms coming on through as we get into to tonight, tomorrow, and early into the area of maybe early Thursday morning from what it looks like for right now. After that, another cold front on the way, and this one fairly dry. This one will be dropping on through with some much cooler, more fall, finally, some cooler fall-like temperatures heading our direction, so looking pretty good as we get into the end of the week with some drier weather coming on through. A lot of activity out around the Pacific Northwest thanks to that large storm system out there, but again, from this next storm system for us, the Great Lakes may see some snow showers. Let me stop this on Thursday morning. Uh, snow showers around the Great Lakes, but this one coming in from off of Canada is going to be pretty decently dry. So outside of a shift in the winds and a drop in the temperatures, we shouldn't be seeing too much of anything in the way of major concerns for us at this point. High temperatures today, depending on where you're located, where that front is, you're going to see a big difference in the temperatures out there. High temperatures around Tupelo, 70 degrees. High temperatures around Dyersburg, Jonesboro, Blytheville, mid-50s or so. So we're looking at some pretty chilly numbers depending on where you're located with that front across the area. Chances for rain greatest around Tupelo, southern parts of the viewing area. Not quite much of a chance back to the north of there. Into tonight, low temperatures will be much chillier back into the, or more chilly, need to check my grammar on that. Back into the mid to upper 40s to lower 50s for low temperatures this evening and more cool weather into tomorrow. High temperatures for the entire viewing area back into the mid to lower 50s. So we're looking at a few upper 50s around Tupelo, Oxford, Clarksdale, south of the metro, but beyond that really just not that much. And unfortunately, there will be chances of rainfall pretty much throughout the entire day, limited but still possible. Let's go ahead and go into uh, Thursday, looking at high temperatures in the lower 60s. And finally, getting back into some clearing skies, 10, 20% coverage on sky cover, so a lot of sunshine expected there. Likewise, as we go into Friday, high temperatures a little cooler back in the mid to upper 50s, and that's after that next storm system comes on through, so we'll see the winds switching from out of the north this time around. Go ahead and take a look into uh, the holiday coming up on Saturday. High temperatures for the area on Veterans Day, and again, a very big thank you to all those who have worn the uniform uh, coming from a military family background myself, making certain that everybody out there uh, says thank you to those who are wearing the uniform currently or have retired from wearing it. Uh, numbers back in the mid-60s, plenty of sunshine. Unfortunately, as we go into Saturday afternoon and evening, if there's any outdoor dedications, prayer services, remembrance ceremonies, by the time we hit Saturday evening, there's a possibility of some showers out there 
Doesn't look like rumbles of thunder at this point, but that's something we're going to have to watch out for. So something to think about if you have any outdoor plans for Veterans Day coming up, uh, anything in the way of dedications or remembrance ceremonies, things like that outdoors, something to think about uh, at that location. More information about what's going on across the Mid-South, all you have to do is drop by my Facebook page. A uh, nice little cartoon up here in the header from Christopher Baldwin from his amazing Little D comic strip. Uh, Vachel the Vulture complaining about how it's getting dark very early early out there for those of you not adapting well uh, to the ch time change out there. Also, again, from my Twitter page at twitter.com slash aonic underscore WREG3. And from my Instagram page, if you got pictures, we'd love to see them. Uh, like Oxford35, a very nice picture sent in of some fall colors in and around Pickwick Lake. Thank you very much uh, for sending in that one. And if you have pictures out there, we'd love to see them. So uh, send them to me on Instagram or link me on there. I guess that's how we do it at Aonic, no underscore necessary, W-R-E-G-3. And would love to be able uh, to hear from you there. If you have any pictures across the Mid-South, we'd love to be able to send them in. Our seven-day forecast available, again, at WREG.com slash weather. And if you're heading out the door pretty soon and want to get the weather, uh, join Bob and Josh on Talkback Live, AM 730. Sports chat for the most part, but they do do a lot lot of other stuff, including, again, community events, news, and, of course, yours truly with weather. And that'll be on from Monday through Friday from 8 to 10 a.m. It's their brand new time frame. They're on about an hour later, so you get to listen to them a little bit longer out there. And if you can't listen on air, listen online, talkbacklivenetwork.org. I'll have a complete forecast update for you coming up here in just about another 15 minutes as they get going with their Tuesday morning forecast out that direction. Rest of the day, again, that's about the way it looks for right now. Chances of rain here and there, but just not looking at a lot. Could be a rumble of thunder or two, but that's going to be about all. And this fog out there for right now should be dissipating at least a little bit later on. We'll have updates on your forecast again here at WREG.com slash weather. Todd Demers will have more on your forecast coming up on News Channel 3 live at 9 and on News Channel 3 at noon. And Jim Jagger's forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, so stick around for that. Live and direct from House Onic on a bright and foggy, semi-foggy, bright Tuesday morning, somewhere in there. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the day with News Channel 3 on air and online.